Hi and welcome to this short tutorial on sizing your images for printing. This tutorial will primarily focus on sizing your images for printing using Lightroom. The first thing you want to do is to determine the dimensions of your print or what we call the crop dimensions. Under the Lightroom crop tool, under the options available, you can actually specify the types of crop or print dimensions that you like to use in your image. So it'll come with the standard ones, such as a 1x1 crop, 4x5 or 8x10, um, 5x7, 2x3 or 4x6, which is your standard sensor size crop, or you can do um, the longer crops, such as 16x9, 16x10, or even panoramic crops like 3x1 and 2.4x1, which are custom crops I've created for my, uh, my images in Lightroom. So let's say we're just going to do it with a standard print. So this is a 2x3 or 4x6 crop. And what you've done is just selected that and click on done and you've got the actual image ready to go. If you decide that you want a different set of dimensional ratios for your print, then you'll need to specify a different um, ratio such as a 5x7, for instance, or a 8x10 or 4x5. And they'll just give you different looks to it. I'm basically just going to go back to a short. And this will give me the standard 2 to 3 or 4 to 6 ratio for the print. The way you do it is you export your images from Lightroom at the size and resolution that you require for the print. So what you do initially is you just go into File and Export and you'll get the Export window pop up. I've already pre-selected where I'm going to store the uh, file once it's been exported ready for printing. What you then do is you scroll down the window until you get to the file settings. You've got a couple of options available as far as image format is concerned. The standard format is JPEG, but you can also export it as a TIFF file for printing as well. We'll just stay with JPEG format here. You then need to determine the color space of the actual image itself, and this will depend on where you're doing the printing. So if you're getting it done at a professional lab, consult the lab, and find out what color space they use for printing. Most labs will use sRGB, though certain professional labs might use Adobe RGB 1998. You will need to consult the lab first before you make a selection here. Let's say, for example, I'm just going to use a lab that has an sRGB color space printer. We'll keep the quality at 100% so that we've got the best quality JPEG as possible. And then what we need to do next is essentially resize the image for printing. Now, when you're printing an image, everything's in inches or centimeters or millimeters, which basically describe the dimensions of the actual print. When you look at prints, you probably look at sizes such as 6 by 9 inches or 8 by 12 inches or 5 by 7 inches, so on and so forth. Each of these dimensions will specify a long age in inches. Let's say I'm going to... Um, print an 8 by 12 print of this image from Rottnest Island. So what I'll do is I'll change pixels to inches and specify that I want it to be 12 inches on the long edge. So automatically, the um, export will size the shorter edge to be 8 inches. With printing, you want the resolution to be 300 pixels per inch so that you've got enough pixels, so to speak, to Get the print looking nice and detailed there. You can decide that you would like to sharpen the image um, for a particular kind of printing format. So you might, for example, want to print on matte paper or glossy paper. You can select either. I'll just select matte paper here. And you can also select the amount of sharpening. I tend to go with either low or standard depending on the kind of image. Um, with landscapes, I tend to just select the standard sharpening output. All you then need to do then is scroll all the way down and decide whether you want to do any post-production work on the picture in Photoshop after you've exported it. In this case, let's say no, and then click on export. Lightroom then prepares the file and gets it exported as the 12 by 8 inch, 300 dots per inch printed image. Okay, here we are in the folder, photo print, where I've exported the image file. You'll notice that the file size is 8.1 megabytes, so it's nice and large, contains a lot of information for printing. And there you have it. Too easy. 
Thanks for watching.